Well, 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 everybody. Guess who's back, back. Yes, it's me. Oh, well, I didn't know what game to play to start off with. Um, just, you know, just get going again. It's only been like a week and a bit, if that. Um, but I thought, you know, what I'm in the mood for. And I thought, well, a bit of Empire. Um, so the chances are there's going to be a bit of a rearrangement in which games come next and, you know, all that other stuff. But uh, before we get started, I have to announce, unfortunately, I've decided to uh, cancel the Mass Effect LP. Um, reason behind this is purely there there aren't enough people watching it for me to put the effort into making the videos. I mean, I spend an hour, an hour and a half making... Uh, you know, videos, and then they get like 60 views, and it's just, you know, there are other games I could be playing which are more rewarding in terms of uh, gameplay, because I've already played Mass Effect 2, uh, Mass Effect 1 twice, um, uh, there are other things I can be playing, you know, even if it's not a series and it's just things like Daisy, DayZ uh, here, a bit of World of Tanks there, you know, random multiplayer matches, you know, it just frees up time. Sorry if I'm if I start sniffing as well. I, the hay fever is kicking. In. I don't normally get it badly, but uh, I mean the sun's not even out big time today. But <sighs> yes, right. Well, I honestly can't remember what we're doing. I know we are at war with Spain still, and we took this with the fleet, which is disappeared somewhere. Is it up here? This must be it. Yeah. So we're sieging this. I think we're just going to wait for them to come to us, uh, and then I suppose we'll just push towards Mexico. Now, uh, Portugal seems to be building up a fairly decent army for a new nation. Hopefully they can defend themselves. Ugh, sorry. I know we're at war with the Ottomans as well. And we're pushing uh, south, or whatever this is, east, southeast, uh, into their territories, you know. I gave them a chance. I said to them, be nice and I'll let you live and I thought well maybe they've learnt their lesson and uh, nope back they come uh, I think we don't know where that army came from if I'm entirely honest I can't really remember I don't know how it got damaged but I think I put them in there to replenish before we ah here we go this is moving yes I remember this now slightly I'm just going to scratch my nose <sighs> <sighs> Um, but yes, I think what we'll do with that army is probably bring it down here towards, you know, Jerusalem or Damascus. Um, yeah, this is all fine for now. Uh, this army got rid of that Spanish force that was down here quite a few turns ago. Uh, I don't know why, I think I took them out accidentally. Probably should be going back in there. But yeah. I mean, I'm just trying to get myself reacquainted with uh, the game. I mean, it's been a while. I don't know why, but I had a thought, you know, before I started recording again, not today, that I should just take Austria, but... I mean, the chances are they're allied with Britain and... Yeah. With all the major nations in Europe. It's not something I want to do just now while I've got a war with the Ottomans and the Spanish going. So. I mean, I could probably win in terms of a land war. Um, I would have thought that they'd come. The, uh, the Polish would join my side. But there's no uh, guarantee, of course. Um, yeah, I think I'd probably win in the long term. I'd probably lose quite a few of these provinces down here but then when we got to about here just push forwards you know but anyway that's for another time for this in the future uh, I'm just gonna check my fleets tab see if I've got anything moving somewhere doesn't look like it should really be building up some more ships I think I split these so they could raid while they sat in port but just gonna see. I think I have a dry dock around here. Oh no, I can't do it yet. I need that. I think what we'll do is we'll just recruit a couple. Oh, we got no money. I won't do that then. Oh my nose. Excuse me. One second. My other turns right. Right, I'm back. 
I don't know what if there was an army on that British fleet. I didn't really see. So, uh, oh, my nose. I hate hay fever. It's one of those things that like, absolutely. It's just. It's just. It's not painful or anything. It's just annoying. It's like having a cold. You're just like, oh, why? And I mean, I haven't had it my entire life. It's only been in the last. I don't know, three, four years maybe. Oh, don't tell me the game's crashed. Thank you. Ugh. I should probably get some hay fever tablets or something. So a large Ottoman army is still lingering around Morocco and those areas. The green swath, is it? Swath? I don't know. Pretty much owns the all eastern half of uh, south southeastern half of uh, Europe. Which is good. I like it. I like it. Just come all the way down here. Maybe we'll even take the Barbary states, I don't know. Depends how I'm feeling. I'm feeling ruthless, so just murder them all. So it looks like they've come under attack. Or something, I'm not sure what though. So, I mean, I'm allied with them, so they get any wars. Okay. I thought they'd come out. I forgot about them, if I'm honest. Um, so they get any in, in any wars. <laughs> I have to decide what to do, and I mean, I decided to make them a nation because, you know, it's a good way to keep Spain uh, locked in. So Spain declares war on them. Obviously, I'm already at war with them. So easy peasy. Don't think I'm going to get this done before the football starts, but I'm just going to check the channel. Wrong channel. Has it started? I don't think it starts at five. Not me. Euros have been good this year so far. Oh, I don't see anything on. But it's Monday. I would have thought there's something on. Oh, apparently there's nothing. Very strange. Oh, never mind. Looking forward to that. <laughs> Alright, uh, do do Oh, we can build defences, which is nice. I mean, they tend to be. Yeah, they're really short, so. That's fine. They haven't got cavalry. So there's no point in putting those down. We'll just use these. They're so small, though. It's, it's a right pain. I mean, they're. they're that small because, uh. The game's only used to having units with 120, 150 men in. So, uh, yeah. Please be right in front of me. Damn it. We'll see what happens. I mean, the cavalry's going to be key here. Um, because they're basically militia, so. Speed it up a bit. Pump up the volume, pump up the volume. Maybe they won't move. I mean, they came out, so I would have thought they'd come to me, but... I don't know. I don't know anything. It's all a guessing game. Yeah, here they come. I'm probably going to have to abandon these positions. Or keep one unit there. I don't know. Right, uh, so they're coming from that direction. I think I'll leave those and bring these two out. Oh, just shuffle them. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we go behind these. No. I want them out in the open so the cavalry can get a good charge along with these uh, crazy guys with axes. Crazy guys is is. I mean, the Grenadiers, if they decide to charge in, they're going to have a real tough time with these guys. Nutters. I forgot about the dev cam. 
it's a lie. Everything's a lie. We live on the sea. I'm going to put the key uh, inventory in support of the chivalry. That one hasn't got... These guys haven't got a firing art for some reason. See a glitch or something. I mean, as far ah, okay, I'm gonna split these guys because they're gonna flank me otherwise, which would not be ideal. I mean, it's pretty long range shooting, but I think we've got better actually than these guys. Send those guys on a long walk in. Actually, while we're here, we might as well drop them behind there, considering how close they are. Okay, they're forming up, nice. Don't know about you, but I think this is a bit quiet. No, it's just my headphones, never mind. Continue. <laughs> they don't know what to do. They're all. Oh, a few pops at the cavalry before they get in. Not good enough, unfortunately. Cut down. Infantry moving in. These guys are going to get flanked if they're not careful. I'm pretty sure they can handle that. Oh, I don't know why it's lagging all of a sudden. It's quite a small scale battle, so I would have thought it would be fine, but apparently I was wrong. I'm going to rearrange these guys so they are facing those uh, up there. Double time, please. Okay, they're chasing those away. I'm just going to pull the guys, the cav out of the uh, forest. Yeah, it's not a real competition. I don't even have bayonets, so. Uh, didn't even lose that many in the grand scheme of uh, the way these battles normally go. Come on, what are you doing? Shoot. Thank you. Ah, forgot about to run these guys. These guys are still formed up, so I'll use the infantry against those in the forest. Cav's not so uh, good at forest uh, attacks. Obviously, for you know, it's a bit hard to maneuver a horse in between all these trees. It's still going at a decent speed, without the threat of, you know, running headfirst into a tree or something. My infantry is getting a bit. Probably want to close down the uh, range a little bit for better effect. Cav on the slow. The uh... okay, they get that's why they're getting hit from both sides. They're aiming at those, so I'm going to shift my grenadiers right while the infantry maintain some decent fire on the uh, enemy on that flank. Hopefully they can hit a few more with each body now. I mean, you know, it's, it's typical, really, typical Russian infantry, not the best shooting, but uh, I mean, I think we're going to have these guys soon. I'm going to do one more volley, and then the slow advance for the Grenadiers. I just wish I had some uh, British Grenadiers music playing. Maybe I'll do some fancy editing and put it in the background.
no contest uh, really. Obviously there's always going to be a few casualties here and there, but uh, I am sure got torn up a bit, but I've come to expect this in uh, most battles that some Russian units just not necessarily crumble, they just get the short stick really. I'm just trying to look for any units that are hiding somewhere. These guys are wavering now. Stabby, stabby. Oof. Right in the stomach. It's a painful way to go. Pretty slow as well with a bayonet. Gonna be dying for a little while, that's for sure. I think we have won. Yep, looks that way. And these, uh, yep, they've routed now. There's a unit somewhere, I just can't. Look, look, that should be it now. Yep, wonderful. So, uh, well done to uh, all those. Small force defeating. I don't know how much bigger they were in turn numbers, but. Double, maybe? Oh no, only a few hundred. Oh, never mind. Still, don't mess with me. I just auto resolve it now. That's what I normally do. Oh, you've. I just, this is what I hate about the Ottomans. They always have these pitiful little armies which stroll around my countryside making a mess. Go away. Thank you. There's probably only about ten left. That's how this game works most of the time. Uh, da, 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 that's fine. These guys are still haven't replenished. Nation destroyed. Pirates. Bye bye, pirates. So, uh. Oh, I didn't even have to do it. They built a nice palace, though, didn't they? I'll keep that. They've got nice roads in this one. So, just, uh, hang on. What am I doing? Building a thing there, so I probably could do with a trade port in this theatre to open up some new trade. I don't know if it'll work, but we don't have one. We're gonna we're building a dockyard there. So I mean how pissed are these guys? They sh uh. Is that going down? Yep. Garrison forces is eighteen, so they're two minus two. Which is really not that bad. So we can uh it's a long march. Be much quicker with these boats. They're still a bit damaged, but it's fine. Let's bring them down here. Actually, no, there's only one ship that's damaged, so what we'll do is we'll take one out next turn when that's. Uh, then we'll uh, fix him up. Right, we'll recruit. I don't know, we'll just get some auxiliaries in there to uh, hold the fort, as they say. But in a more literal term this time. We'll just take them out to double check. Oh, they're fine. And, uh, okay, now where do I... I'm going to take these islands first. I mean, from past experience, they tend to be quite lucrative in terms of, uh, you know, economy and that sort of thing. So, uh... We'll do that. Raid that while we're there. Agent recruited. New stabby stabby man. Head up into Austria, see if we can uh, see anything what's going on in there. Uh, 7,000. How much are we making each turn? 9,000. No, it's not great. Really. Yeah, not the reason we don't have trade with them. Yeah, we probably do need some more ports. Need to start upgrading. Talking of which, what are we researching? Hu animal husbandry. What does this do? Minus 50, that'll be useful. It adds to the recruitment cost, but, you know. We'll go for. The, oh, it's quite. We need. We'll go for physiocracy and then division of labour so we can get. Start upgrading these ports so with more trade and, and the like. Right. Um, you'll probably find that this part will. I mean, these videos in 
their entire length will probably be longer than an hour just because I haven't played it in a while so hopefully that's not too much of a pain um, you can always come back and watch them later if you don't have time I mean I, I often find myself sitting at YouTube thinking often feel think to myself I'm wasting my life <laughs> watching these videos but you know I don't care it only lasts for a moment and I'm like yeah, sod it. Oh, I don't care, I'm just going to sit around and do nothing anyway. I mean, I finished my exam, so I finished school technically. So it's just free time, I a lot of it. I mean, I can't get a job yet, because I'm going on holiday for such a long period of time that to get a job before holiday would only last up until holiday, until I went away. Because um, I can't take, like, leave or a break for that long. Uh, Tell you what we'll do. We'll try and auto resolve it because I really don't want to fight this battle because I really, you know, of all the factions, I don't like fighting. The Ottomans are probably my least favourite. Oh, that was easy. We only lost 300, so the AI did much better than I would. But yeah, I don't. The Ottomans are my least favourite faction. I find fighting because I don't know why. I really, honestly, don't know why. I find their armies very irritating because they're such a mix. I mean, they've got camels which are good against cavalry, and they've got these cannons, uh, they always, they, lots of their armies have loads of cannons sometimes. Uh, plus, they've got melee infantry. It's very, I mean, I wouldn't say it's challenging because the melee infantry is pretty easy to handle. I mean, even regular line infantry t tends to be able to see them off if they've got bayonets, that is. Um, but yeah, I just, they're just annoying. I'll be happy to see them gone. So they've only got two provinces left by the looks of it, Morocco and oh no, that's what that's about three provinces altogether, so I thought that was one. Well, because you know, the other Ottoman provinces aside from these these uh Eastern European ones are all massive, so yes. Sweden, Sweden, Sweden. Still nothing really from up there. I did anticipate them to declare war on me like straight away but uh, it hasn't happened yet probably jinxed it now next turn <laughs> surprise well like I said uh, Mass Effect thing ending uh, so we'll do some other games I don't, I don't know what I mean I'm thinking it's, it's quite a long way in the future but that, there's an amne a new un amnesia game coming out I would like to do that, but my last horror attempt failed because uh, 